Welcome back everyone. Let's take a look at another tutorial in FEMAP. And here we're going to answer the question on how can we show, how can we visualize our free body diagram. This setup here, we uh, solved it in uh, one of our previous videos. Right here, a rod between two nodes, a force applied at one of its ends. There you go. This is what we uh, got after we ran the analysis. Now, we uh, if we take a look on this side, we can see the force that we applied, but on this side, there's nothing. And I want to show the free body diagram for my setup, right? So I'm going to hide the uh, rod axial force visualization here. There you go. So all I see is the element and my force. Well, actually, I can put the color and the reading back, right? just uh, a little bit more hidden so we can see more of it. So let's see, free body diagram. We can go right here. We need to, of course, this will be only possible after, after you ran your analysis. So go to post processing. Here, free body diagram. Open it down and you can see free body, free body, create free body diagram right here. Add free body click on it. New free body. Click. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put my FBD. There you go. Leave everything as is. You can, if you want, take a look at all the other options. We're going to change these after we run it. You can change it at the before it too, but uh, we'll, I'll show you how you can alter it after we uh, set it up. So for now, just case, click OK. There you go. Done. And here you go, we have it set up, but we did not appear. Why? Because it's waiting for us to tell what nodes do we want it to show it at. So scroll down on the left, we were up here, see, scroll down, and right here, free body element. It wants us to tell the software where do we want it displayed. So first button right here, select free body element, click on it this window will uh, show up. In my case, I want to select both of these nodes. I can do it one by one or just click select all. There you go. Okay. And there you go. Our free body diagram appeared. We have still the force, but on the left hand side, we can see our reaction force. There you have it. Okay, so remember on the option we said we could have switched off a few things or added to it. Well, that's right here. Free body contributions right here, this one. If you click on it and open it, these are the exact same options that we saw earlier. And we can kind of filter out what do we want to see or we don't want to see. Here, do I want to see the applied force? Yes, I want the reaction I want. But these two, I'm not interested, so I could even turn them off. Or, if you want, we can even change the style of the items displayed. Go to View Properties. If we go down, let's say, Nodal Force Vector, right? That's what we've been working with. We have arrows. Click. We want, let's say, a solid arrow. And now you see, we don't have that empty kind of arrow that we had. Now it displays it as a solid arrow. All right, and there's more options here for you to explore. Make sure you take a look at them they are quite useful. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, tune in for the next video. Have a good one.